So hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover the Java 8 interview question. So previous to this video, I mean, which was a part one of this particular video, we have covered around 10 to 12 Java 8 interview question, which were based upon the employee class. So we are continuing the same video again. If you guys haven't seen the previous video, you can go and check out in my channel or I will share the link in the description. Okay. So now we will move to the next question. So this question also we have covered in the previous video. So our next question says group employees by average salary. Group the employees whose salary is above average and below average separately. So we want to group the employees based upon the average salary. Okay. So we will quickly move to the spring tool suit and we will try to solve this. So here we are on our spring tool suit and we have created one employee class. Inside this class we have a four field employee name, age, salary and city. And here we have an employee main class where we have added some dummy values. Okay. So now we want to group the employees based upon the cell uh, based upon the average salary. Who all are above average salary, who all are below average salary. So first of all, we want to find out the average salary. So here we will see how we can find out the average salary. So we have created one variable called average salary, and we will use employees dot stream dot map to int one function is there map to int here we will just take the get salary and now there is one function called average so this particular thing dot or else zero okay so this particular thing will give us the average salary. So now we want to do the grouping by based upon the average salary. Okay. So now we will do employees dot stream dot collect collectors dot grouping by. Okay. Now here we will just use the lambda expression and we will use the employee and we will say employee dot get salary sorry get salary if their salary is greater than average salary then we will say okay we are using the ternary operator here and say above average or we will say below average okay so we just we'll do one thing we will move this to here so that it can be readable so now we will just try to print this okay so now just run the program yeah here if you see the below average so these guys like Michael Johnson or Emily Brown, their salary is below average. Okay. And there is, there are some uh, employees whose salary is above average. So like 90,000, this guy. So first we will see what is av uh, average salary. Okay. So this is our average salary. Okay. 68,000. So we will see this like 50,000 is less than, right? So that's why it is below average and 55,000. Then we have 62,000 and then above average. So 90,000 is above average 75,000 because our average salary is uh, 68,000, right? So this is how we can do this question. So now we will move to the next question. So our next question is group employees by first letter of name. Group the employee by the first letter of their name. Example, all names starting with A go in one group using Java 8 stream. Okay, so all the employee whose name starts with A should be in one group, whose name starts with S should be in another group. Okay, so we will try to solve this program. So here we are. Now we will just do employees dot stream. We have to do the grouping by based upon the initial character of the name, right? So we will use collect collectors dot grouping by and we have to use here emp dot get employee name dot care at index zero okay so now let's try to run this 
so char at index 0 will give us the first character like the j so here if you see with the e emily and with the w we have williamson uh, william davis similarly with the j we we will have two employees one is john and the other is jane so these both are inside the j right m we have michael johnson and o we have olivia olivia wilson so now we will move to the next question so now we will move to the next question so our next question are based on combining operations so our first question is find highest salary in each city so first of all we have to group do the grouping by based upon the city and we have to in a single city like in the chicago there are two people so we want to find out out of these two employees who has the highest salary okay for each city find the employee with the highest salary using java stream and store the result in a map where city is the key and employee with the highest salary is the value so we will move to the spring tool suit and we will try to solve this question so now we will try to solve this question so we have to use the employees dot stream dot we want to do the uh, this grouping by right based upon the city and then in each city who is the employee who is having maximum salary so here we have to do the grouping by based upon the city collectors dot grouping by and here we will use the get city okay so now here we will do one thing the uh, collectors oh, sorry we will use collectors dot collecting and then after collecting the elements what we have to do is we have to uh, like uh, in a city there can be two employees right who are having the same uh, who are having who are living in the same city so we want to find out the max right there right so there we have a method called collectors dot max by and here we have to use the comparator dot comparing but we have to compare the salary right employee get salary okay so i will just move this down so that it can be readable so here we will just say optional get okay the optional we have i think we have to import it yeah so now we will try to run the program okay so if we see here in the new york two employees were living one was john day john doe and michael johnson so highest salary was john doe so here we will see new york only one employee is there john doe whose salary is 90000 then similarly in the chicago also two employees were living this guy and this guy his salary was william davis salary was 80000 his salary was 75000 so here we are getting the william davis whose salary is 80000 so this is how we can do this problem by using this collectors dot collecting and then after that we have to find the max by from the salary okay so now we will move to the next question so our next question is sort and limit top n employees by salary sort the employees by salary okay in descending order and select the top n employees using the java stream okay so we have to first sort it in a descending order and we want to find out the top n employees okay so we will go to the spring tool suit and try to solve so yeah here we are so we will use the employees dot stream and we want to sort it right so we will use it we will be using the sorted comparator dot comparing int employees get salary dot reversed we want to sort it in a reversed order right so after that we have to find out the top n elements so for top n elements we have a function called limit and there suppose i want to find out the top two so i'll just say two okay so we will just try to print this and with this we will get the uh, uh, like employees who are having the maximum salary two employees who will be having the maximum salaries okay so we have to convert it into the two list yeah so here if you see john doe whose salary is ninety thousand, is the maximum one and then should be the william davis whose salary is eighty thousand so here what we have done is we have first compared the salary and we have sorted them and then we have used the reversed and then we have found out the top n elements okay so now we will move to the next question so our next question says group employees by city and calculate average age group the employees by city and then find the average age of employees in each city using java 8 streams okay so first of all we have to group the employees by age and uh, by the city sorry okay we have to group the employees by city like in chicago two employees were living so what is the average age of those two employees similarly for new york what is the average age of those two employees so we will go to the spring tool suit and we will try to solve this so yeah here we are so we will use employees 
dot stream so we have to do the grouping by right collectors dot grouping by based upon the city okay so we will use the method referencing again get city right and then we want to find out the average age inside that city right so we have a method called collectors dot average and first of all i mean we are trying to find out the average int so we will be doing is average int of their age right yeah so okay let's try to print this it will give us a hash map or oh, sorry a map yeah here if you see in the new york the average age of all the employees is 28.5 chicago is it is 31 chicago okay 30 and 32 that comes out to be 31 in los angeles it is 25.5 yeah in los angeles also two people are living 24 and 27 so yeah so this is the average age of all the employees living in the particular city so yeah that's it guys in this video this much only if you like the video please do subscribe to the channel and i will bring more such interview questions which will be uh, like i will bring it based upon the two to three years of experience and then five to eight years of experience so please do subscribe to the channel thank you